Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is an overview of the new features contained in the 5.56 release of Axis Camera Station. Let's take a look at some of the improvements. The first item I'd like to show is the introduction of a software update feature. When a new version of software is available, it can be downloaded and automatically installed, even if you're remotely connected. You can also choose to automatically schedule the updates. The tool, although useful, is not intended for the management of larger numbers of remote servers, and we still suggest the use of IT software to manage larger installations, as you will have greater control of the update process, as well as reporting functionality. A new feature added to this release is the ability to reassign a camera's storage location from an existing server to an Axis S30 recorder. This is a simple way of increasing storage within your system. Add the S30 device to Axis Camera Station and then you can reassign the storage location within the storage selection menu. After the change, new recordings will be made on the Axis S30 device and existing recordings will be available until the retention time has elapsed. A new integration within this release is the support for the new Axis decoder. This decoder can be powered by PoE and supports audio and resolutions up to 4K. Simply add the device to Axis Camera Station and the decoder will be available when you right click on a camera or supported view. The decoder supports the display of up to eight video streams and can be used with views created with the view templates that contain up to eight camera views. Note that only the view templates can be used and maps and web pages are not currently supported. If there is any audio on any of your video streams, this will also be transmitted. Within the Axis Control element of Axis Camera Station, we currently have a preview of an Active Directory function, which will continually be improved while in the preview status. In this release, the workflow has been improved. Multiple groups can now be added, and also a schedule can be specified for when the cardholder information is synchronized with your Active Directory data. Finally, in an emergency, the access control solution can be placed into lockdown where all of the doors will be locked and cannot be accessed by valid cardholders. We have added a function that will exempt a cardholder. The exempt function will enable specific cards or cardholders to bypass the lockdown. So this is useful for management and law enforcement roles who may need access to rectify the emergency. Please take a look at the release notes to see the complete list of changes within this release. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.